Champions Jump Ass the League. And today we got the new Fortnite Chapter 2 trailer has just launched. A nation of kids and gamers are going gaga today. I am pretty sure everyone skips school. Half the people that are supposed to be at work ain't there. All because, all because of this whole new chapter that just dropped for Fortnite. So if you haven't been following along, this is a huge update for Fortnite. Think of it more as a revolutionary change than a evolutionary change. The seasons that we've been going through, there have been 10 so far, each about 10 weeks long, have introduced a couple of new gameplay tweaks and features, and whether it's a Thanos glove or Batman skins or mech suits, love them or hate them, that's what's been going on so far. But this one, <laughs> we're talking about a dramatic overhaul of the game, something that they've been teasing but without really giving enough away so I'm hoping this launch trailer goes into a lot more about what's going to be happening here after all I mean after all it must be huge if Epic was willing to take down the game for two whole days you couldn't play this game for two whole days suddenly every mall was filled with people the parks were filled with people gamers and streamers came out of their hibernation it was crazy all right so let's check this trailer out here and away we go All right, we got the black hole, the infamous black hole. Seems epic so far. Whoa, whole new land to explore. Ooh, whoa, that's cool. All right, so they dropped hints of fishing before. Looks like you can get loot. <laughs> or cans. <laughs> that must have some mechanic there. Some sort of healing ability or something like that. Wow, beautiful. Oh, I love these trailers. And then the kids show up. Woo! Ooh, nice. I love that beach scene. They dropped hints of the boats before. Ooh, nice, nice. You can be a healer now. I love healing. I love being support. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, yeah. The map is so different. Wow, wow. Lot of stuff that was going on here. Okay, okay, let me see if I can pick some of this apart here. Um, from what I could tell so far, there isn't anything that was big revealed. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of little mechanics. Like, for instance, fishing, which I don't think is necessarily a core mechanic. It's probably one of those diversions. And that being said, it's also an odd thing to add to a battle royale game. Because who's got time to fish? You're in the middle of, you know, bing, bang, bang, bang. I mean, maybe it's going to be a lot of fun in playground mode. In fact, I think that's probably what it's designed for, for friends and people just to get together and chill and chat. Then they show people jumping out of haystacks, which means there's a lot more stealth opportunity. They also tease me able to jump out of dumpsters before, so I think there's probably just meaning that there's more places to hide now. And the new locations look really cool. I'm digging the beach scene. That looks really fun. And also, I'm really curious about that nuclear power plant there, because it doesn't seem like it would add a lot of interesting gameplay mechanics of just having the giant hollow too because those those nuclear power tubes i don't know even what they're for i guess just the tubes there's nothing interesting in them unless what they've done is design a lot of interesting mechanics inside where there's a lot of duck and cover areas or loot inside i'm kind of indifferent about the boats and the swimming because to me again it feels like a peripheral mechanic in other words most of the fight is going to be on land the idea of getting a boat and swimming honestly in any game that i played i've never enjoyed it. i never had fun jumping into the water swimming it always just feels like a mechanic that slows you down uh, especially in a fighting game, it feels like it's going to leave you very vulnerable. I will say the one thing I really look forward to is this ability to heal. 
That healing bazooka launcher looks really cool. And I love playing as an assist because quite frankly, I'm never really that great at shooting games. But if I can follow along with someone who is, that is on my team, provide a little bit of support, ooh, then my real value comes in, which is not dying. The other mechanic here that they've shown, which is the ability to pick people up when they're down, is another interesting support mechanic that I'm looking forward to as well. Ultimately, I think a lot of the big changes that I've been hearing about from, like the whole island is very different. There's new gameplay systems that have been layered in. There's a new system where you can jump into the game really fast without having to go through the lobby. These are really big changes that probably aren't as interesting to show in a trailer like this, but I think it's gonna pay much more dividends in terms of the gameplay experience. But for a trailer, this is top notch. I think they showed exactly what they needed to to get people excited again. I don't know if it's as exciting as some of the things that they've been doing in the last couple of chapters, including the giant robo mech battles and the end of the world event that just happened. Those things honestly have left such a high in gamers and I love them so much that this trailer just feels like a fun way to reset a lot of the experiences for you to come back in and try new things, which I think there's probably a million little details here that they didn't show that are gonna be fun to explore and try out for the first time. Oh, by the way, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna follow up with this reaction on an in-depth commentary on why chapter two was a bold and risky move by Epic and whether or not it paid off for them. You don't want to miss that. All right, y'all. Peace out.